What is going on everybody, Jmos23 here, back with a review of the 1980 film, The Club. Now, The Club is an Australian film directed by Bruce Beresfold and is based on the play by David Williamson. It stars Jack Thompson, Graham Kennedy and John Howard. Now, the plot of the film is basically when a high-priced recruit from Tasmania named Jeff Haywood, played by John Howard, joins a history-rich VFL club that has fallen onto tough times. Jeff initially doesn't play well, which makes the coach very angry. The coach during this movie is Laurie Holden, played by Jack Thompson. Now, meanwhile, the club president, Ted Parker, played by Graham Kennedy, and Laurie have been put under pressure from the board because the club has been performing so badly for so long and they are threatened by getting... The sack. Now, some fun facts about the club is that the characters in the film do not call it a club. They call it the club. But in the film, it's based around Collingwood. Now, Collingwood gave the okay for Vic Park, which was their home ground at the time, and a few players like Peter Dacos, Peter Moore, Ray Shaw, and even coach at the time, Tom Hafey, to feature in speaking and non speaking roles. But the commentators call it by Collingwood during the film. Jack Thompson during the film is has got a moustache, which is loosely based around Ron Barassi's. Now, Ron Barassi, of course, being an icon of Australian football, Thompson felt it was necessary to have it as like a badge rank in a social hierarchy in AFL. So, to sum up the film, the film is great. In my opinion, it is a great Australian film. It is, but there is not a lot of differences between it and the play. I've seen both the play and I've seen both the movie. I saw the 07 play with John with John Wood from Blue Healers in it, and I thought he did a really good job. And I thought this was a great interpretation of that play, even though I've seen it. I haven't seen it in a while. I still remember the play being pretty damn close to the film. The acting is very well done. There is not a bad performance in the film by any of the main characters. Even though it is a low-budget film, it kind of didn't need to be a high-budget film because a lot of it was shot on location through the streets of Melbourne. It is a great Aussie film. I think it's pretty much on level with... Films like The Castle, Cracker Jack, even as far as Dundee, maybe even Chopper. But if you are interested in the history of the AFL, I definitely recommend watching it. And if you're also a film, a uh, Australian film fanatic, definitely recommend it. So that's pretty much it for this week. I'll see you all next week. Uh, next week is a trade period video. Now. Trade period's gone on for way too long, I think. But I'll get into that next week. So, see you all then.